Anne Bancroft was a highly respected and influential figure in the world of acting, with a career that spanned over five decades. She was born on September 17, 1931, in the Bronx, New York, and her real name was Anna Maria Luisa Italiano. Bancroft's acting career began in the early 1950s when she appeared in several television shows and films. Her breakthrough role came in 1958 when she starred in the film The Miracle Worker, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. She played the role of Ann Sullivan, the teacher and companion of Helen Keller. Throughout her career, Bancroft worked with some of the most prominent directors and actors of her time, including Arthur Penn, Anthony Harvey, and Anthony Perkins. She appeared in over 40 films, including The Pumpkin Eater, The Graduate, The Turning Point, and Agnes of God. Bancroft's work was not limited to film. She also had a successful career on stage, appearing in several Broadway productions, including two for The Seesaw, for which she won a Tony Award. Bancroft's contributions to the entertainment industry were not just limited to her acting skills. She was also a director, producer, and writer. In 1980, she directed and starred in the television movie Fat Actress, which she also wrote. Anne Bancroft passed away on June 6, 2005, but her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. She was a trailblazer, a pioneer, and a true icon of the entertainment industry. Her work will continue to be celebrated and cherished for generations to come. Anne Bancroft was a highly acclaimed actress known for her work in film, television, and theater. She won numerous awards throughout her career, including an Academy Award for her role in The Miracle Worker. One of her most famous roles was playing Mistress Robinson in The Graduate. Do you have a favorite performance of Anne Bancroft's? Out of all the legendary work she has done, which one do you believe defined her career? Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with actress Anne Bancroft. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will be sharing some fun, shocking, and sad facts about Anne Bancroft's life and career. So, keep watching to learn more about this classic star. Anne Bancroft, born as Anna Maria Luisa Italiano, was born in the Bronx, New York, to parents of Italian descent. Her father was a dressmaker, and her mother was a telephone operator. Bancroft's passion for acting began at a young age when she started performing in school plays. She attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City, where she honed her craft and began her journey towards becoming a successful actress. Bancroft's early exposure to acting came from her family, who were avid moviegoers. She would often accompany her parents to the cinema, where she developed a love for films and the art of storytelling. Bancroft's teachers and mentors at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts also played a significant role in her development as an actress. They encouraged her to explore different acting techniques and styles, which helped her to develop her own unique approach to the craft. One of Bancroft's key influences and mentors was the renowned acting teacher, Stella Adler. Adler's approach to acting emphasized the importance of imagination, emotion, and the use of the actor's body and voice. Bancroft studied with Adler for several years and credited her with helping her to develop her own distinctive style as an actress. Bancroft's family, upbringing, and early exposure to acting all contributed to her success as an actress. Her passion for the craft, combined with the guidance and support of her mentors, helped her to become one of the most accomplished and versatile actresses of her time. Anne Bancroft, born as Anna Maria Luisa Italiano in the Bronx, New York, on September 17, 1931, was the daughter of working-class Italian immigrants. Her father was a dressmaker, and her mother was a telephone operator. Bancroft's interest in acting began at a young age, and she pursued it with determination. Bancroft attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City, where she honed her acting skills. She began her career on stage, appearing in several Broadway productions. In 1958, Bancroft won a Tony Award for her performance in the play Two for the Seesaw. Bancroft's film career took off in the 1960s, she starred in several successful films, including The Miracle Worker, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress in 1962. Bancroft's portrayal of Anne Sullivan, the teacher of Helen Keller, was a defining moment in her career. In 1967, Bancroft played the role of Mistress Robinson in the film The Graduate, which brought her international fame. 
Her performance as the seductive older woman who has an affair with a young college graduate, played by Dustin Hoffman, was both controversial and iconic. Throughout her career, Bancroft continued to work in film, television, and theater. She was known for her versatility and her ability to portray complex characters. Bancroft passed away on June 6, 2005, but her legacy as a talented actress continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Anne Bancroft, born Anna Maria Luisa Italiano, discovered her passion for acting at a young age. Growing up in the Bronx, she was the daughter of working-class Italian immigrants. Her parents encouraged her to explore her interests, and at the age of 11, she made her stage debut in a school production of The Blue Bird. This experience ignited a spark within her, and she knew she wanted to become an actress. Bancroft's determination led her to enroll in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. During her time there, she honed her craft and appeared in various stage productions. Her talent and dedication did not go unnoticed, and she soon began to land roles in television shows and films. One pivotal experience that fueled Bancroft's desire to pursue acting was her collaboration with acclaimed director Arthur Penn. In 1958, they worked together on the Broadway play Two for the Seesaw, which earned Bancroft a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Play. This recognition solidified her position as a rising star in the industry and encouraged her to continue pursuing her passion. Throughout her career, Anne Bancroft's creative spark and dedication to her craft led her to become one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters left a lasting impact on the world of acting and inspired future generations of performers. In 1998, Anne Bancroft made a special appearance at the 70th Annual Academy Awards, joining other Oscar winners in the tribute sequence Bancroft, known for her dramatic roles, was born Anna Maria Louise Italiano. Interestingly, her Miracle Worker co-star Patty Duke, also known for dramatic roles, was born Anna Marie Duke. Bancroft and Duke both married actors famous for their work in comedy. Bancroft married Mel Brooks, known for Get Smart, Your Show of Show, and The Producers, while Duke married John Astin, known for The Addams Family. In addition to her acting career, Bancroft was a stepmother to Stephanie Brooks, Nicholas Brooks, and Eddie Brooks. Her impact on the industry continues to be felt, and her performances remain memorable to this day. Anne Bancroft, born Anna Maria Luisa Italiano, faced many challenges on her path to becoming a successful actress. Growing up in a poor Italian-American family in the Bronx, she experienced financial struggles and had to work to help support her family. Despite these hardships, she was determined to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. Bancroft's pursuit of a career in acting was met with skepticism from the industry, but she remained undeterred. She enrolled in acting classes and worked tirelessly to perfect her craft. Bancroft's resilience and determination paid off when she was offered a role in a Broadway play, which led to more opportunities in both theater and film. One of the creative solutions Bancroft found to overcome industry skepticism was to change her name. She believed that a more anglicized name would make it easier for her to find work in the industry. This decision proved to be a wise one, as it helped her to secure more roles and establish herself as a talented actress. Bancroft's ability to adapt and find creative solutions to the challenges she faced is a testament to her strength and determination. She continued to work in the industry for several decades, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards for her performances. Bancroft's legacy as a talented and versatile actress continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. And Bancroft's performance as Annie Sullivan in The Miracle Worker was truly memorable. Did you know that the eggs Patty Duke's character threw at Bancroft during their intense fight scene were mixed with popcorn to make them less slippery? Bancroft also left a lasting impression as Mistress Robinson in The Graduate. Famed film critic Roger Ebert initially hailed it as the funniest movie of the year in 1967, but 30 years later, he dismissed it as dated and a lesser movie. However, he did acknowledge that Bancroft's portrayal of Mistress Robinson was the only character in the movie who was alive and could see through situation, understand motives, and dare to seek her own happiness. In fact, Bancroft's performance as Mistress Robinson is ranked hash 47 on Premiere Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. It's clear that her talent 
and skill as an actress left a lasting impact on the film industry and audiences alike. Anne Bancroft's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, starting with her Broadway debut in 1952, which earned her a Tony Award. However, it was her Academy Award-winning performance in The Miracle Worker that truly solidified her status as a leading actress. Her portrayal of Anne Sullivan, Helen Keller's teacher, was highly praised for its intensity and emotional depth. Her career continued to soar with her iconic performance as Mistress Robinson in The Graduate. This role not only earned her an Academy Award nomination, but also redefined mature female sexuality in Hollywood. Mike Nichols, the film's director, praised Bancroft for her extraordinary combination of toughness and vulnerability. Bancroft's career was also marked by her versatility as she transitioned seamlessly between stage, film, and television. She won another Tony Award in 1978 for her role in the Broadway play Golda in which she portrayed Golda Meir, the former Prime Minister of Israel. Her performance was hailed for its power and precision, with the New York Times calling it a triumph of acting. Throughout her career, Bancroft was also known for her collaborations with her husband, Mel Brooks. She starred in several of his films, including Silent Movie and To Be or Not To Be, showcasing her comedic prowess. Bancroft's contributions to the world of acting have been enduring and impactful. Her ability to portray complex and multifaceted characters has left an indelible mark on the industry, and her breakthrough performances continue to resonate with audiences today. As a testament to her legacy, she was posthumously awarded the National Medal of Arts in 2010. And Bancroft is well known for her portrayal of Mistress Robinson in The Graduate a role she secured after Dustin Hoffman received Brooks' permission to audition for the film. Interestingly, Bancroft is one of three actresses to win the Best Actress Academy Award for playing a character named Annie, with the others being Diane Keaton and Kathy Bates. After her contract with Fox ended and her dissatisfaction with working in Los Angeles group, Bancroft decided to move back to New York to enroll in acting classes at HB Studios. She aimed to unlearn some of her film and television techniques to focus on her dream of becoming a successful stage performer. Anne Bancroft, an accomplished actress, had a unique artistic vision and process. She was deeply committed to understanding her characters' motivations and psyche is, often delving into their backgrounds and histories to create a more authentic performance. Bancroft once said, I don't just want to act a part. I want to understand it. Her approach was meticulous and detailed, requiring extensive research and preparation. Bancroft's process included reading extensively about her characters' historical context, analyzing their relationships with other characters, and exploring their emotional arcs. She once spent several months learning how to play the accordion for a role, demonstrating her commitment to authenticity. Bancroft's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. She was known for choosing roles that challenged societal norms and expectations, often portraying strong, complex women who defied traditional gender roles. Bancroft's feminist perspective was evident in her performances, and she used her platform to advocate for women's rights and equality. One of Bancroft's most iconic roles was Mistress Robinson in the film The Graduate, in which she played a middle-aged woman who seduces a younger man. The role was controversial at the time, but Bancroft brought depth and nuance to the character, subverting expectations, and challenging audiences to see beyond her character's initial portrayal. Bancroft's artistic vision and process were characterized by her commitment to authenticity, her meticulous preparation, and her willingness to take on complex and challenging roles. Her work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to her enduring impact on the world of acting. Anne Bancroft had an impressive career in film and theater, with notable roles in three Best Picture Oscar nominees The Graduate, The Turning Point, and The Elephant Man. She also appeared in The Hindenburg, alongside other Oscar winners and nominees. Bancroft's talent was recognized with two Tony Awards. In 1958, she won Best Supporting or Featured Actress for Two for the Seesaw, and in 1960, she won Best Actress for The Miracle Worker. She reprised this role in the film version, earning an Oscar for her performance. In 1978, she was nominated for Best Actress for Golda, in which she played Golda Meir. Bancroft's work was not only impactful, but also varied. 
showcasing her range and adaptability as an actress. Her contributions to the industry continue to be appreciated and admired by audiences and peers alike. Anne Bancroft was a highly influential actress, known for her powerful and commanding presence on screen. She made her film debut in 1952, and throughout her career, she tackled a wide range of roles with skill and nuance. One of Bancroft's most iconic performances was in the 1967 film The Graduate, in which she played the character of Mistress Robinson. Her portrayal of this complex and nuanced character helped to challenge societal norms and expectations of the time. Bancroft's impact on the industry can be seen in the ways she paved the way for future actresses to take on complex and challenging roles. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters helped to elevate the art of acting and storytelling. Industry experts and those she inspired have often spoken about Bancroft's immense talent and impact. Director Mike Nichols, who worked with Bancroft on The Graduate, said of her, she had a kind of electricity, a charisma that was unique. Actress Meryl Streep has also spoken about Bancroft's influence, saying, Anne Bancroft was a great actress. She had a ferocity and a passion that was unmatched. Bancroft's contribution to the industry can still be felt today as her work continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters helped to elevate the art of acting and storytelling, and her impact on the industry will not be forgotten. Anne Bancroft made her directorial debut with the film Fatso in 1980, which was financed by her husband's production company, Brooksfilm. She is perhaps best known for her role as Mistress Robinson in the 1967 film The Graduate. Director Mike Nichols described the seduction scene between Bancroft and Dustin Hoffman as a tender trap, with Bancroft's character dressed in a tiger striped dress, symbolizing a predator in a jungle. Unfortunately, Bancroft had to withdraw from the 2004 film Spanglish when she was diagnosed with cancer. Cloris Leachman took over her role as Evelyn. Anne Bancroft, born Ana Maria Luisa Italiano, was an actress known for her versatile roles in films, television, and theater. Outside of her professional life, she was a private person who valued her family and personal relationships. She was married to acclaimed director, and producer Mel Brooks for over 40 years, and they had a son together. Bancroft was known to be a dedicated wife and mother, often putting her family before her career. Bancroft was also passionate about education and personal growth. She was a lifelong learner who enjoyed reading and expanding her knowledge. Bancroft believed that education was the key to success and often spoke about the importance of learning and self-improvement. In addition to her love for education, Bancroft was also involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her life. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and supported several organizations that focused on empowering women. Bancroft was also involved in charities that supported children's education and health care. She believed that every child deserved access to quality education and medical care, regardless of their background or economic status. Bancroft's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress. She was known for choosing roles that challenged her and allowed her to explore different aspects of her personality. Bancroft was not afraid to take on controversial or complex characters, and she often brought a unique perspective to her roles. One of Bancroft's most iconic roles was in the film The Graduate, where she played the character of Mistress Robinson. Despite the character's controversial nature, Bancroft brought depth and complexity to the role, earning her critical acclaim and a nomination for an Academy Award. Bancroft's philanthropic efforts also extended to the world of theater. She was a supporter of several theater companies and often donated her time and resources to help promote the arts. Bancroft believed that the arts were essential to a healthy society and worked tirelessly to ensure that they received the support they deserved. In conclusion, Anne Bancroft was a multi-talented actress who was deeply committed to her family, education, and philanthropic efforts. Her personal values and interests often informed her work, and she was known for choosing roles that challenged her and allowed her to explore different aspects of her personality. Bancroft's philanthropic efforts, particularly in the areas of women's rights, children's education, and health care, have left a lasting impact on society. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a true icon of the arts. 
Anne Bancroft, originally Anna Maria Italiano, changed her name at the start of her career as 20th Century Fox found it too ethnic. She chose Bancroft because she thought it sounded dignified. In 1957, Bancroft played Annie Sullivan in the Playhouse 90 television adaptation of The Miracle Worker, a role she would reprise on Broadway and in the 1962 film, both directed by Arthur Penn. Interestingly, when Sullivan first came into Helen Keller's life, she was only 20, while Bancroft was 30 when she portrayed Sullivan. This just goes to show that age did not hinder Bancroft's ability to accurately depict the determined and passionate teacher. The name change and the age difference did not stop Bancroft from delivering a powerful and memorable performance in The Miracle Worker. Anne Bancroft left a lasting impact on the film and theater industry with her powerful and memorable performances. She was known for her versatility and ability to portray complex characters, making her a true inspiration for aspiring professionals in the field. One piece of advice Bancroft would likely give to those looking to make their mark in the industry is to constantly hone their craft and never stop learning. She once said, I love to learn. I love to read. I love to listen. I love to watch. I'm like a sponge, you know? I'm interested in so many things. This curiosity and dedication to her art is a testament to her success and longevity in the industry. Bancroft would also likely emphasize the importance of staying true to oneself and one's artistic vision. She famously turned down roles that didn't resonate with her and was known for being selective in her projects. This integrity and commitment to her own creative vision is a valuable lesson for aspiring professionals in any field. In terms of the future, Bancroft would likely encourage the next generation of actors and artists to push the boundaries of their craft and to use their talents to tell important and impactful stories. She once said, art is not a mirror to hold up to society, but a hammer with which to shape it. This call to action is a reminder that art has the power to affect change and make a difference in the world. In conclusion, Anne Bancroft's legacy within the industry is one of versatility, integrity, and impact. Her advice for aspiring professionals would be to stay curious, stay true to oneself, and use one's talents to shape the world for the better. Anne Bancroft, a prominent figure in the film industry, gave a notable performance as Mary Magdalene in the film Jesus of Nazareth. The film boasted an impressive cast, including seven Oscar winners and six Oscar nominees. Bancroft's impact extends beyond her acting career, as a street in Iowa City, Iowa, bears her name. Moreover, Bancroft starred in The Elephant Man, directed by David Lynch, who also worked with other actors who appeared in Mel Brooks' films. This interconnectedness highlights the close-knit nature of the film industry. Bancroft's collaborations with Mel Brooks include Blazing Saddles, Silent Movie, and To Be or Not To Be. Similarly, other actors, such as John Hurt, Jose Fur, Bill Pullman, Richard Farnsworth, Patrick Stewart, and Ian Abercrombie have worked with both Lynch and Brooks. These connections illustrate the overlapping worlds of film directors and actors, creating a vast and intricate network of talent and creativity. Anne Bancroft was a dedicated and innovative actress who left a powerful impact on the entertainment industry. She began her career on stage and soon made her way to Hollywood, where she became known for her versatile roles and captivating performances. Throughout her career, Bancroft never shied away from taking on challenging characters and pushing the boundaries of what was expected of her. She was a trailblazer who paved the way for future generations of actresses and inspired countless others with her passion and perseverance. Bancroft's performances were not just entertaining, but also thought-provoking and impactful. She had a unique ability to bring depth and complexity to every character she played, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. One of Bancroft's most iconic roles was in the film The Graduate, where she played the character of Mistress Robinson. Her performance in this film was a turning point in her career and helped solidify her status as a Hollywood legend. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Bancroft never gave up. She continued to work hard and push herself, always striving to be the best actress she could be. Her dedication and perseverance are a testament to the power of creativity and the human spirit. Bancroft's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder of the importance of creativity, passion, and perseverance. 
Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers around the world, and her performances will be cherished for generations to come. Anne Bancroft and Mel Brooks first met on a talk show. Mel was so smitten that he asked a woman from the show to reveal Anne's dinner plans, enabling him to casually run into her again. In the early stages of the film Mommy Dearest, Bancroft was in talks to portray Joan Crawford. However, after reading the first draft of the screenplay, she deemed it unfilmable and decided to withdraw from the project. Faye Dunaway later took on the role and received a Razzie Award for Worst Actress due to her performance. While still in high school, Bancroft co-founded the Radcliffe Radio Players with a group of friends. Together, they performed condensed dramatizations on a Peekskill, New York radio station owned by a family friend. Let's take a moment to talk about the talented actress Anne Bancroft. Known for her memorable roles in films like The Graduate and The Miracle Worker, Bancroft left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. With her versatile acting skills and ability to portray complex characters, she captivated audiences and inspired many. We would love to hear your thoughts on Anne Bancroft's work and legacy. What was your favorite performance of hers? How did her career influence the film industry? Share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this reflection on Anne Bancroft's life and career, please remember to like and share this post with your friend and family. Let's celebrate the creative spirits that have shaped entertainment together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Thank you.